Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I posted a video on here. Um, so I decided, why not make a vlog? I'm going to be going on like a 10 day business trip with Gina Bianca, well, Gina Sicard now, but she is, I am Gina Bianca on Instagram. She has a tour and we are going all over the Northeast. We are going to Providence, Rhode Island, Worcester, Massachusetts, Bideford, Maine, Londonderry, New Hampshire, Burlington, Vermont, Albany, New York, Syracuse, New York, Buffalo, New York, Luzon, Pennsylvania, and Long Island. This is going to be a jam-packed week, literally 10 days long. I wanted to take this opportunity to film this fun trip, that way I would never forget it, always look back on memories. And this should be fun. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I want to show you what it's like um, working with a traveling educator. I would love to be a traveling educator one day for like a hair company, a hair extension company. That would be like a dream come true. So having this opportunity to go with Gina is insane. I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe I get this opportunity to travel all around the United States meet so many people, learn so many things. It's gonna be so much fun. Well, I am gonna spend a little bit more time with my cat before I leave, so I'll catch you guys later. That's my new man. I'm my new man. I'm my new man. I'm gonna miss you, hon. I'm gonna miss you, hon. So handsome. Good morning. Hi guys. We're here in Rhode Island. We arrived last night around what, like eight o'clock? In bed by 8.30. We got Bertucci's actually, and it, it was, was amazing. So good. <laughs> right, it was right next door, it was perfect. Yeah, and now we're off to our first class of the tour in Rhode Island at Studio 101. So exciting, we're gonna stop and get Starbucks drinks. Yeah, I have a new drink I'm gonna get. Fall drink, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. guys so we just finished the Worcester class it was so much fun we drove all the way from Providence to Worcester um, and now we're going to New Hampshire <laughs> day one is almost complete it was really nice it was great I mean we had two really good crowds I this was the first time I taught that class that way with that presentation and we finished on time, we started on time, everyone was engaging, we got great questions, and it was really good. I might adjust my slides a little bit to make sure we stay on time better, but it was really, really good. 10 out of 10 recommend. 10 out of 10, you helped a lot of people that were struggling, you know, with things that are like not just behind the chair, but like business, which is so, they need it. Yeah, so important. You can learn another hair technique every five seconds on Instagram, but definitely the business stuff. Like the nitty gritty and really looking deep down into it. Yeah. And breaking down the prices is, not the prices, breaking down what people want to make, like doing their reverse engineering. They love that. 
yeah if they need it and then i felt like a lot of them were like really excited to go home and like look at their expenses and like look at what they actually are making and i think like that's that's like the best part is they were like curious about their business which is the start of really taking your business seriously so yeah it's good stuff awesome. and tomorrow we have another busy day two classes tomorrow and then we have a long ass fucking drive that night but <laughs> why am i dreading it so much we have to find a good podcast it'll be okay it'll be fine because then after that after that it's easy yeah so until we drive home from buffalo <laughs> Buffalo is out there. <laughs> it's in the Buffalo. stick. Buffalo is a drive and a half. Yeah, but it'll be worth it to see Jesse. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be yeah. so great. So yeah, we're gonna go to our hotel, get some food, yeah. eat some soup to rest this voice. Soup and salad would be, would be great. Gina really wants soup right now. We're trying to find somewhere that has soup, and I guess nowhere. Nashua, yeah, sure, New Hampshire doesn't have soup. Nowhere in New Hampshire has soup. And they're, like, appalled when we ask if they have soup. <laughs> they're like, soup? I don't think we have soup. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. Do you guys have any soup of the day or soup tonight? Uh, no, we don't, unfortunately. We don't have soup at all. Oh, okay. Thank you. Bye. Right. <laughs> Nobody in New Hampshire has soup. What the fuck? Got his soup. Had to come all the way to Applebee's to get a soup <laughs> in Nashua, New Hampshire. <laughs> I'm thinking Applebee's. <laughs> An advertisement for Applebee's. Good Sponsored. Soup. Every day. Yes. Every day. Every day. Rain or shine. <laughs> we are in Londonderry, New Hampshire today. We are mm -hmm. on our way to the blank canvas salon. But obviously we need Starbucks. So we're in dry mm -hmm. And we want to share with you a really good drink we found on TikTok. It's really, really, really good. They can't make this hot. It has okay. pumpkin cold foam. Maybe a pumpkin spice latte with one pump toffee nut and cinnamon on top. Do you want a PSL? Yeah. That sounds good to me. All right. Yeah, what can I get for you? Good. Can I do a grande pumpkin spice latte with Extra hot? Uh, hot, please, with one pump of toffee nut and cinnamon on top? One pump toffee nut and cinnamon. Okay, anything else? And then a grande ice brown sugar shaken espresso. Okay. With one pump of toffee nut. Okay. Pumpkin cold foam and cinnamon on top. Anything else for you? That's all. Do you want any food? All set, thank you. You're good. I'm okay, yeah. All set, thanks. Sounds, You're welcome. Sounds great. <laughs> thanks so much. Well, it's beautiful. Thank you guys. Thanks. Have, Have a good one. Okay, I hope Yay. it's good. I'm sure it is. Oh, tastes is like it amazing? Fall. Tastes so good. Is it good? Okay, <laughs> it's good. so good. I love it. <laughs> I just want to tell you a joke that I said today. Are you ready? So we're, we're walking out of the hotel room 
and I see this like old guy and he's balancing a coffee, a yogurt, and a muffin. A, a muffin. <laughs> and he's balancing them like on top of each other and he puts them down to like put the room key in because we're like walking down the hall to like go to the elevator. And I said, <laughs> That's a balanced breakfast. <laughs> What? You're pretty proud of yourself. <laughs> Isn't it funny though? On our way, oh. <laughs> on our way to get bagels this morning for a balanced breakfast. Mm. I want a pot. If they have a don't have a poppy seed bagel, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I want one so Cancel. bad. They're gonna be canceled. We'll see. But apparently this place has really good bagels. We're obviously we're going to Starbucks after, and then we are heading to... Da -da -da -da, what salon today? Salon Vermont. That's what it's called? Salon mm -hmm. Vermont? Yeah, first. I love that. All right. Last night we had a three and a half hour drive after our second class. It honestly went by pretty fast because we kept switching who was driving. Yeah. And then after this class we have another... Three hours. Three hour drive. But this is like kind of, I mean, coming back from Buffalo will be long, but Vermont is so out there. Yeah. Like it's just so out of the way. So after this, I feel like it'll be easy. Oh, good. And then the next long drive, we have a day off before, so we'll be able to get a massage and like hang out and take a breath. Cannot wait. Yes. See you guys in a little bit. Bye. Exploring Burlington, Vermont. This is nice. This is nice here. This is like Champlain. So quiet. Gorgeous day. Peaceful yeah. and serene. Definitely. Get some seafood. Yay! What a surprise. Our view. Right there, <laughs> so gorgeous. I saw it. Yummy. We just fall down at a Sephora. We did fall out. We got so much stuff. Number one thing, besides the amazing foundation. Yeah. Lady Gaga foundation. It's so good. I've been using it for a while now. It is so good. I can't wait to try it. Mm -hmm. And then I told Gina about the Dior lip oil. Look at this. It looks absolutely amazing. I got the, the cherry one. Wow. Ooh, I'm excited to try it. But we are on our way to Buffalo. Finally. We were just in Syracuse, taught a class. It went absolutely amazing. The crowd was great. And we're like 45 minutes away from Buffalo now. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait to see Jesse. We're almost there. It's like the trip to see Jesse. <laughs> Literally. It's gonna be so great. I can't wait. Oh, it's been awesome. It's going by really fast. It is. I thought it was going to be like long and it's not. It's mm -hmm. like because every day we're like we're like doing bus, something. Club, another club, another club. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Arriving at Salon Valeria. Whee! My second salon home. Oh, look at it! They got you a sign! They're so funny. Oh my god, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so cute. Aww. So Want to show them our banana? Yeah. <laughs> so on the first day, I had good intentions and I grabbed a banana from the breakfast. And he's here. He's, he's so on this journey with us. <laughs> he's definitely he's seen better days. How exciting! I finally had a second alone. Wow, this is a horrible angle. It's been a week since we left, since I started this vlog. It's been amazing. Gina has been teaching this business class. It's roughly like three hours long. And every time she teaches it, I still laugh and I still learn something new. Meeting all these amazing stylists like around the Northeast is just so great. I love connecting with people. I love hearing people's stories and it's just so inspiring. Um, it just makes me want to just level up again. Like I miss making these videos. Um, oh my god, I saw Carmela, which is um, Jessie's daughter, and she asked like how many subscribers I have on YouTube now because she knew I was making YouTube videos like three years ago. I was like, oh, I just hit 5,000. She's like, really? I thought you'd have more by now. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to like sit down and talk to you guys about like where I'm at. I absolutely love how I have this opportunity to travel with Gina. Um, it's such an amazing opportunity that I wouldn't give up for the world. Um, I'm just so blessed and grateful that I still have these opportunities to do so. And it's just so great. So. We only have a few more days. Um, today is our day off, and then after the massage, we have to drive four hours to Pennsylvania. And in her Pennsylvania class, she's doing two models. Two models. She's doing a blonde service and then like um, going darker service for the fall. And she's teaching her business class. These classes are going to be five hours, so it's going to be like, it's going to be different. It's going to be fine. It's gonna be fine. But you know, doing hair is just like a little bit more stress. You have to worry about the models. You have to worry about getting on, getting it on in time. You have to worry about rinsing them off. Thank God she has crew to help with the rinsing and whatnot because I'm not gonna do that. So I'm kind of happy about that. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog. And thank you guys so much for subscribing. I can't believe I have 5,000 now. I remember just starting in hair school, having like 20 subscribers and having 5,000, it's just like, wow. It's been a few days. It's been a few hours. Got our Starbies. <laughs> Every day this week. We're addicts at this point. It's the first thing I think about when I wake up. Yeah, we're like, um, Starbies. <laughs> 
We got Crackle Barrel this morning for breakfast. Cracker Barrel Ballin. Had no idea Crackle Barrel had breakfast. It was absolutely amazing. We got a massage yesterday oh, on our day off. It was so nice. And we got our little toes done. Mm -hmm. So great. We have two classes left already. What a year this week has been. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it went by pretty quick. It did go by so fast. Uh, we are in Pennsylvania currently. We're doing hair and business today. So this is the first time this week we're doing both. Mm -hmm. My back hurts already. Send a prayer. <laughs> one like equals one prayer. <laughs> And now, on our way home, we got another 25 minutes until we are at the salon. So exciting. The last class in Long, Long Island, right? That was a rough one. <laughs> <laughs> we were fucking ready to come home after that. That was a rough, they just had, everyone had so many questions. It was just dumb. It was a lot. It was a lot. You know, that happens with smaller classes. Like, more intimate smaller classes, people are less shy to, like, speak up. So in smaller classes, I find I always run a few minutes behind, and there's so much more Q&A. So I was doing my best to, like, get every single question that I possibly could. But um, I feel like the content we got from that class is going to be amazing because the Q&A clips that we get are so good. Yeah. So it was it was like work, but it was really good. Yeah, definitely. I'm glad that was the last one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were ready to go home. I, I was like, are you okay? And you're like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then we get outside, you're like, I'm just ready to go home. <laughs> I was so ready. I was just like packing up shit when she was closing. And I know you were like everyone's done. like, Do you need help? I'm like, nope, I got it. Like I just wanna fucking go home. Yeah. Ten days is a long time, but it did go by really fast. It went by so fast. And yes, we still have Yeah, throw that out the window. I'm yeah, the banana peel. <laughs> it's so gross. It's not like mush. It's not like um, rotting yet. It's just very ripe. It would be great for some banana bread. They definitely would. Or a smoothie. It'd be great. Or a smoothie. Um, what was your favorite part of the trip? Yes. Hanging out with you. <laughs> we had fun. I know we did have fun. We was we were laughing every day. Um, we were eating good. We ate yeah, good in the in neighborhood. The neighborhood. <laughs> We ate good. It was a lot of fun. You know, doing stuff like this, when you do it alone, and like, especially like what I do with the education and the amount of stylists that I get to meet every day and like what happens during class, what we talk about during class, like I used to do it alone all the time and it's very lonely and it's like you don't leave the class and have someone to talk to yeah. who like gets it, who is there, who understands. So like doing something like this, like experiencing it with, it with someone is so much better. Mm -hmm. It's so much more fun and like it's more meaningful, yeah. you know? So doing it by myself, like I'm so glad that you were here. You helped me so much, number one. Number two, she got content for all of you guys. Like the mo we have so much content forever. <laughs> she said, she's like, my camera's done. Yeah. But no, I think definitely like having someone to experience it with and it was like kind of just a fun road trip with a few hours of work every day. I mean, I thought it was fun. That yeah. was my favorite part was just getting getting away, getting to hang out, and I definitely miss my dogs. Yeah, and I my husband. I can't wait to see my cat and my boyfriend. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it was great. Until next time. Yeah, it was great. Thank you all for tuning in. Thanks so much. If you have questions about being a traveling educator, write them in the comments. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.